days, thousands of people in Romania are out on the streets asking for civil liberties and good governance. But the problem is that they're not being heard. We want to show our support for the values of Europe, the European nation here and in the same time to show to the European leader that we are uh, really thinking like Europeans and we don't agree with the actual government here. Romania has had a long tradition of fighting for freedom and for civil liberties. The people of Romania have overthrown a dictatorship after enduring it for 42 years. Romania has joined the European Union, has made important progress, especially also against the evil of corruption. And those are achievements that the people of Romania absolutely can be proud of. We are in a square where many have died for this right, for our right for democracy. And seeing Romania as an European country, as it should be. Uh, we believe that Romania is a part of it, and not only as a membership, but as we feel in our souls. We are protesting against a government that is corrupt, that is not representing us. The proposed law changes will result in legalizing corruption de facto. And the government is even planning to reduce the rights to protest against that law change or others. But a presidency must lead by good example. And it must lead with credibility. And you still have time to become that good example that we need in Europe. But the clock is certainly ticking. And a lot of us really feel European. So don't give up on us just yet. We're still fighting. <laughs>